Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. So what we're going to look at today is um, obviously MetaMask. So I guess a lot of us have uh, used MetaMask. It is the, I think, the most popular uh, wallet uh, for interacting with DAPs on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, but they've added some new functionality fairly recently, which actually makes it um, a lot more useful. Uh, and that is the ability to swap tokens within MetaMask. So in 2020, we've seen a, a big explosion um, in in uh, decentralized exchanges, particularly the, the type of what we call a AMMs, uh, automated market makers. So the first one was Uniswap, and then we've had different versions, Curve and uh, Balancer and various other things. Um, and then functionally, they, they, they're they actually doing lots of different things now, but, but, the, but the basic reason people use them is you've got a token, probably ETH, uh, and you want to swap and you want to get some other tokens out. And, and, and um, most of us are not moving enormous amounts of value around, um, not millions of dollars worth. So we don't we're not too bothered about um, about the uh, kind of efficiency, I suppose. We are bothered a little bit, but, but a couple of cents here and there's not going to bother us too much. So, so there's quite a lot of um, and when it comes to these sort of things, the, the, the kind of main focus is simplicity of use, I think. Um, and that's where MetaMask um, could do could do pretty well with this, I think. So here, here's a general, here's my, just my uh, you know, kind of a, a MetaMask wallet. Um, it's got uh, $40 in of, uh, of ETH. That's the only token I've got in there. Um, and I've just expanded this out um, so it's not on the little drop down. Um, this is just um, expanded it out so it fills a whole tab. Um, and, um, and MetaMask is a is a Chrome browser extension. Um, so uh, I won't go through all the setup. It's pretty, there's lots of videos online. If you want to know how to set up a MetaMask wallet, um, we're just going to use the swap. So, so we can see here, um, you know, the options I have for my ETH are buy, send, or swap. So, I'm going to hit swap, and um, I'm going to swap from. So, obviously, you had, if you had multiple tokens, you would choose what you're going to do. So, um, it tells me I've got 0 0.086. So let's put in 0 0.5. So it's 23 dollars worth of ETH that I. Uh, I'm going to swap, or I'm not, but we'll see. Um, and let's go and go and get some uh, Dai. So Dai is a stable coin. Um, one dollar equals one Dai, pretty much. And we have some options here: slippage. If you want to get um, clever um, to make sure you're not uh, slippage, just means when, when you when you're changing when you're changing when you're swapping tokens, the um, the price may change as you. Uh, this really only happens if you're if you're swapping up, you know, large numbers, um, probably tens of thousands of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars for some um, tokens. But um, you can set that so you don't basically uh, kind of lose efficiency. Um, but we don't need that at the moment. So um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get basically 23 die from our ETH. So go and get quotes. So so now, because uh, MetaMask isn't a, uh, a really a DAP itself, um, what it's doing is it, it, is, it is looking at all, uh, not all, but some of the other uh, exchange DAPs that are running on Ethereum. And it's just, and it's just basically going to kind of, for, on your benefit, be a user to those DAPs. And, and, in, and in a kind of a automated way, it's gonna go, Tell those DApps I've got um, uh, whatever 0 0.05 ETH. I want some Dai. What's your What's your best price? So it's taken 30. Oh, so so um, yes, it's a time-based thing. Um, it's actually telling me I need some more ETH uh, for some reason. Um, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we can see here there's eight quotes available. We can see the fee. Uh, that's probably why the the fee is too expensive. I, I, I've um, so the fee is the gas fee on Ethereum, which is fairly expensive at the moment. Um, but I can look at these eight quotes. I'm not going to do this one anyway, but um, we can see here. Um, we can see the so the best option it's chosen for me here is I'd receive 22.8 DAI, uh, but the, and the network fee will be $6.28. Six um, and some of these, that, where it says green ag, that means it's aggregated across multiple um, uh, uh, sources, so it's going through multiple exchanges. Um, when that tends to happen, you tend to get higher gas prices, um, but not always. We can see here, you know, it's, it's looked through the best options for me. Um, uh, so, uh, so, so it's a kind of a very simple way of, of kind of doing, uh, doing doing a swap, particularly a swap that would be kind of you know not 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 vast amounts of value. Um, and obviously, the 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 the, the, the main reason why um, this would be useful. Um, and I could consider myself using it is normally if I'm interacting with something like Uniswap, I'm doing it from my MetaMask wallet. So so I'm, I log into my MetaMask wallet, I go to Uniswap, I have to do all the signing. Um, you have to fill in the stuff on Uniswap, then I have to sign through MetaMask because that's what a wallet does. It allows you to, you know, it gives you control over your um, crypto. 
Whereas this just means, particularly for very, very small amounts, if I just wanted for some reason 20, 20 die, um, it just makes sense for me to do that within MetaMask. There's, 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 there's fewer clicks. Um, and if I kind of trust that I'm getting a good deal and the gas price isn't, uh, isn't, isn't too much, um, th then I think you know, this will be something that people will be using um, quite a lot. I guess the, the only thing is it, it's that uh, people have got very used to using things like MetaMask, uh, using things like a Uniswap um, in particular. Um, so there may be that kind of action that people are just are used to doing that. And it may feel a bit weird um, to begin with to use uh, MetaMask uh, to swap tokens. There's also the issue that um, uh, there's not a, well, there's quite a lot of different tokens, but um, you know, there, if I was searching for something like sand, oh no, it's gonna have everything in there. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say, um, it looked like there was not so much on the drop down, but it looks like they they, uh, they pretty much have everything you would want, I guess, because they, if they're going through um, some of these exchanges um, that have all these tokens anyway, then you're gonna find what you want. Um, let's find, think of some other obscure things. Have they got any of that? Uh, so I guess for some of these things, if you, there may be a user um, a user experience issue where if it's not showing you the token um, logo, you might be a bit unsure that you're getting exactly the thing that you want for some of these more obscure tokens. Um, but it looks like it has most things here. So anyway, so um, that is the video for today. Um, I think blockchain stuff is pretty complicated and anything we do to make these things easier and uh, quicker to use is, is probably gonna be uh, successful. Um, so it's a good move from MetaMask from that point of view. Um, thanks for watching the video. This is uh, Dapp Radar where we spend our time uh, looking at the world of dapps and, uh, and seeing what's going on there and making videos about them. So um, thanks for watching this one. Please do subscribe to the channel uh, and hope to see you again soon.